say, Dave, talk to me a little bit about the history of uh, the steel pan drum. In fact, what do you call these, this instrument? Uh, it's called a steel pan, but it's also known as a steel drum. Okay. And can you give us a little bit of the history of uh, how this instrument came to be? Yeah, it actually um, originates in the country, the island of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, in the grand scheme of things, it's actually a fairly new instrument. Um, back in Trinidad, um, they were colonized by the, by the British. They used to have tambo bamboo bands. Okay. Um, which was the, basically them playing with the bamboo stick. Okay. Right? So okay. they had bands. Um, eventually the government shut that down because when they used to compete, it used to end up being kind of violent and whatnot. So then they ended up um, basically creating iron bands. And with okay. the iron bands, they didn't really have any type of melody. It was just all rhythm. Mm -hmm. But after trying different things like, you know, milk cartons and just tire wheels and whatnot, they figured out that if they tapped on the, um, what's it called, the oil drum, mm -hmm. that made a different sound. Mm -hmm. So they start cutting it and welding it in different ways. Mm -hmm. And off of just different pioneers just kind of shaping it in different ways, like Winston Simon Spree, um, Winston Spree Simon, him and Ellie Manette, uh, between you know people like that, it turned into this instrument, and it's just this is just one kind. Ellen Minette, he just passed uh, recently, right? Oh, yeah, about two years ago. And, and he's called the father of the modern steel drum. Really? Mm -hmm. And what was his? Do you know? Can you tell us a little bit more about him? Yeah. So I mean, just like um, when he was a kid, um, he was basically part of you know one of the steel drum bands, and at the time the pan was basically upside down, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so he figured out if you turned it this way, so instead of it looking like a dome, he turned it this way like a bowl and mm -hmm. figured out that you can get more notes in it. Oh, okay. So because of that, he's considered the father of the drum. Okay, okay. Um, and so all, all of this kind of the beginnings of it, this was like 1930s? Uh, I think it was, to be honest, I think it was more around the 40s, 50s. Okay. 50s. So okay. like I said, it's a fairly new instrument when it comes to the grand scheme of instruments. Right, right, right. Uh, well, I mean, and you play competitions and so forth like that. Competitions are really a big thing with this uh, the steel pans, right? Yeah, I haven't been part of a, a panorama competition in some time, but in Trinidad they have a big uh, carnival festival where they have panorama um, once a year, and they have big bands with like over 100 players. Wow. And whatnot, so it's a big deal over there, but I mostly just perform locally and gigs and birthday parties and weddings and whatnot here locally in Tidewater, Hampton Roads, Virginia. And how do we reach you? Uh, you can contact me on Facebook or Instagram at Miss Drums. That's M-S dot D-R-U-M-Z. Also, uh, you can contact me at my Google number, which is 757-317-1890. So I'm not too hard to find. So, uh, seeing we have you here uh, and uh, might not get you back for a while, <laughs> Would you uh, share a couple more uh, numbers with us? Uh, what's your favorite tune to play? I, you know, I don't even know if I have a favorite. I play so many songs, um, but it's Sunday, so I'll just play some gospel songs. Okay, if you do that, that would be wonderful. And I uh, want to thank you for being here on uh, PTA Live, um, part of uh, what we do with Juneteenth VA. And uh, if you don't know, um, thank my child. So, <laughs> you know, this is not nepotism. She really knows what she's doing when it comes to the drums. And uh, she also is uh, uh, looking to put together classes. She really thinks that, uh, you know, particularly for middle school students uh, and up, you Yeah, I've started already. Um, Mondays and Thursdays for middle school and, and on the um, adults as well. So that's on Mondays and Thursdays from 6 to 8 p.m. And you can contact me for more information on that as well. So, uh, when did you start playing the drums? Um, I actually started when I was 12 years old. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a group called Urban Arts Ensemble. And on Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday nights, they would meet. And it was a wonderful program. I want to give some shout outs to some of the great. Uh, teachers and mentors that uh, were a part of that. You can talk about that a little bit better. Who were the Victor and? Yeah, um, Victor Provost, he came later while I was starting in high school, but Sharice Minerva um, was the director of the program for a while, uh, Pat Burns. But as far as our instructors, um, we had Jay Terry, we had Victor Provost, who actually was an instructor as well as a director, 
And um, even on the African drum side, we have Brother JC, mm -hmm. um, and we also have Brother Whit that will come and do workshops with us. So we have a lot of great instructors. Indeed, indeed. It's about building community. It's about uh, strengthening community. It's about knowing our history and our past. And uh, the thing I love about the steel pan drum is that uh, it comes from another culture. Uh, you know, a lot of times that we think it's just African Americans, and uh, we are part of a, a wide, uh, you know, disparate, you know, di group of people all, all over the globe, and that's what we wanted to understand and teach people about here at Portsmouth Theater Academy. So, uh, Peyton, thank you for being here today, and uh, take it away.